hello guys welcome back to guitar tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix counter strike 2 is having the controller or gamepad is not working error which is happening for many of these is right now and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the workaround the first one is all about when you're having this trouble we have to do enable or disable the steam input for this we just need to go over here in the game right click and we have to go to the properties go to the controllers go over here to the use default settings make sure we have to click on enable the steam input try launching the game if that is not working change this to disable the steam input and try launching the game and see whether the issue is solved or not this is what you have to do as the first step if that is not working we have to move to the next step next step is all about we have to use controllers all the time that is, uh, I mean, we need to launch the game using the controller and navigate to using the controller. So that might be working out. You can try this out. You should be depending solely on the controllers and see if the controller is not working at all. What you need to do is just follow the next instruction. That is all about. We have to launch the game in the big picture mode. This did work in for many uses. You can try this out. So just go over here in this particular icon at the top. That is enter big picture mode. Click on this one. Now from here as you can see, we are in the big picture mode right now. So what we need to do is, we just need to go over here in the game, select this one. Now from here we have to launch the game. So keep in mind when you are launching the game from the big picture mode, it did work for many of the users so you can try this one as well. So if that is not the case, we have to exit the big picture mode. So just go over here in the steam, click on this particular power icon, go for exit big picture mode. And once you're done with this one, just go over here in the steam. Now from here go to the library, now from here go to the counter strike and try launch the game and that is what we have to do. Next one is all about what we need to do is, we just need, we just need to disable or enable the steam overlay. For this we just need to go over here in the game right click, we have to go to the properties. Now from here make sure the enable the steam overlay while in game should be turned off. Once afterwards try launch the game, this is very important. Next one, we need to close all the overlay and overclocking application. So just go over here in the search right click and we have to go over here in the task manager. Right now from here if you go over here you will be able to see there are a lot of things running in the background. So all these things are actually utilizing the performance which is why we are having the crashing and all these kind of issue. So remove the unwanted things. For example Discord, Rivatuner, MSA Afterburner, all these things can be removed from here. Once afterwards try launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to install Xbox accessories. So just go over here in the search, go for Microsoft Store, search for the store here. Now open this. Now from here we just need to go over here in the just wait to get the loaded up for the Microsoft Store. Now from here go over here and navigate to Xbox accessories. Now from here go for Xbox accessories and we have to open it. So once you open and keep in mind, we have to update the controller. So if the update is there, just update the controller afterwards, try launch the game. So these are the possible workarounds and I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.